What we're looking at here is a home. And every once in a while, we are going to have leaks from the home. Now, the other day, I was driving through the neighborhood or a neighborhood, and I noticed that someone had a tarp covering what I'm guessing was a roof leak. And I see this all the time. Someone goes and they put a tarp. They think the roof leak is here. And they put a tarp over the roof. And then they, they find out that it's still leaking. It might not be leaking as much, but it's still leaking. And uh, hopefully by the time you finish this video, you will have a better understanding of the reason why. Now, here's the first thing you're going to encounter. If you just put a tarp over a section of the roof without going all the way to the top, the water will actually leak um, the, as it's raining, the water will be running off of the roof and it will actually go underneath the tarp, all of the water from here. So all of the water that hits the tarp is going to drain over the tarp and then onto the roof and down. But any of the water that uh, hits the area above the tarp has the chance or a strong chance high possibility of actually rolling down and under the tarp. Here's a good example of what it should look like. The tarp should go over the ridge and uh, wouldn't be a bad idea if it hung on the over the edge if it was near the edge. And then of course make sure that it is far enough away from the side. I mean water on a roof can travel it can, if it's coming right here, it can work its way over into this area. But obviously this would uh, decrease the amount of water significantly, um, something like this. But if you end up to where you're still having a leak, you're going to want to check your tarp for holes. And uh, you might actually need to extend it a little farther on each side. Um, or you might, uh, you know, or, or you could have a hole in your roof that uh, is in another spot. It's leaking here and this isn't uncommon to have a leak in one area but actually the holes over here somewhere so you might need to just cover a larger area with a tarp. I've actually seen people cover their entire roof because uh, they can't find where it's leaking. So, and then here's a good example of drooping the tarp over the ridge um, and of course you'd need to have some uh, some type of a weight here you could always use two by fours but uh, you know keep in keep in mind if you have a strong enough wind something like this could actually blow right off and uh, if you have blocks or heavy something heavy on there it could actually throw that off and damage things that are below so wouldn't be a bad idea to securely fasten this some, somehow. And this might include using some 1x4s or some 1x6 and laying the 1x6 this way. You're probably not going to want to run them this way because they could trap water. Make sure that they're running this way. And then you might actually need to screw the 1x4 or 1x6 into the roof sheathing. And if this is the case, um, you know, uh, you'll be damaging the roof when you do this. So I would think that would be the case if you were going to be replacing the roof. I don't know if I'd get carried away with something like that if it was a leak. You know, if it's a leak, you're going to have to try and find it. Remember, something like this is just a temporary solution. And uh, the main problem, which is the leak, would need to be fixed eventually.